Hey there, welcome back to the Decorative Lounge. In this tutorial, we will be talking about gift certificates. They can be used for so many different things, whether it be for holidays, birthdays, Black Friday, and it's an amazing way to drive traffic to your website and also help promote one of your new products or services. So that's what we'll be learning in this tutorial. My name is Patrice Green. I'm the steward and CEO here at PNG Creates, where we help small businesses, organizations, and those with a creative thought bring their eye-catching graphics and their video presentation to their social media pages or website. I want to show you a few things here. I have three different designs of a gift, a gift certificate. So with that, what I want to do is you get a chance to actually break down how you want to do this. Let's go to the decorative lounge. All right, we are now in the decorative lounge. If you have not gotten a chance to like and subscribe, this is an absolutely great time to do so. So what you see here is a sample of a gift certificate that I made and I wanted to make sure that I gave you a chance to uh, make it yourself. So I always, I'm just gonna show you as a duplicate here. So I start with um, just a blank page, right? So you can just use it any kind of way you want. I start everything in presentation mode. So while I'm in presentation mode, I am having a bigger canvas to work with because I'm just that person. So now we're going into the elements tab. Um, I want to start with the borders. Usually I like to start with the edges with certain things because it gives me a parameter to actually work with. So in Canva, you can just write in exactly what you want. So you go into the element section and you write borders. So again, here's a copy of what we have going on and we're gonna make a duplicate of it. So um, I used these particular corners right here. Now mind you, be if it has a little crown on it, that's the pro account. If you don't have the pro account, find something that says free. Or you can create your own if you wanna get um, a little bit more decorative. You can use the actual copy button on the upper right hand corner which will make a duplicate of your um, one border and it'll always be the same size. And then you can use the flip option. You can either do it horizontal or um, vertical, whichever works best for what you gotta do. So now we're going to the text blocks. There's three different types that they give you, but of course, no matter what you do in the uh, size, it'll, you know, it'll do it that way for you. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I get ready to know exactly what I want to write. And as time goes on, of course, you can always change it up. But we'll be writing gift certificate here. So now we want to take our text bar and move it into the middle. And the reason why is because of how big we're going to make the graphic when we write out the word gift certificate. Again, um, the original happens to have all caps. This one is just going to be... Uh, and lowercase okay so we kind of make that at the top remember to leave some space inside of your border that is exactly why I do the borders so I can stay aligned uh, where I need it to be look see you get turn it here so you see it again let's move that down just a little bit don't go past your borders because then it actually takes away from the lining of your gift certificate. The um, green boxes are basically letting you know how far your font or whatever bar you're working in, how far it actually goes. So we're gonna use my company that I'd use for couponing. It's called Savings with a Twist. So we're gonna use that. And the beauty with using um, fonts and sizes and things like that with Canva is because there's so many different ones there's also ways that you can incorporate new ones so while I'm sizing this I'm just going to talk to you a little bit more about this you want to make the word gift certificate much bigger because that is the main focal point of what you're creating right so we made that big we put the name of the business just a little bit smaller but proud enough to be pronounced in this um, tutorial Okay, so now we're gonna size this up a little better. Remember the green bars around each text block allows you to know how far your text box can go out and what it covers. So now we wanna uh, change the font. For savings with the twist, I've always used Great, um, great Vibe. 
you might want to use something else for your logo or something but i always use that one because it matches the rest of everything else and you'll see that later on but it's okay to use different fonts within your um, publication and things like that but what you want to do is no use no more than three anything over three then begins to be um, a little bit too much for your readers um, for your publication make sure anything that you really need them to know is in a text that is very visible like there are some beautiful types of font here on canva but we want to make sure that you know that it's a, a gift certificate so you wouldn't put it in some type of font where it wasn't legible as to what it is or if you have something with a date you want the date to be able to be seen right so let's play with the effects very quickly so in the sense of the gift certificate i love shadowing shadowing makes it um a lot broader and what it looks like and then we can also play with the colors and things like that okay so now i want to add some more to the actual um gift certificate let's look at some lines so again you go to your elements tab and you type in exactly what it is that you're looking for so i like a straight line like a no frills kind of line when I'm doing this because it makes it easier so again remember the top of your border is is like pretty much where you want to even everything out so that everything is lined up nicely so that's what we're doing here so we have our line and then we want to add some more text because you want to tell them what the gift certificate about what it's valued at things like that so we're just going to make up something um to make it feasible to know what you're talking about here so who doesn't like a good valued uh gift certificate right whether it be something that's free um a certain percentage off i love all of those i am a gift card fanatic i mean who couldn't so 40 dollars off of a hundred dollar purchase is, is a great you know it's a great thing let's see how this works so you see it's just thrown air in the text box once you pull up that actual text box and you see those little lines on the end they help you stretch the actual text so you can actually just lower your font numbers until it fits where you need it to be do not go over your lines give your lines a sexy margin inside i like to try to line it up with the ends of the word in the top so like you see where the g and the e is i don't want to go past that when i'm making these gift certificates i want to keep everything within that box because then you look very uniformed and that's one of the key things about um, making gift certificates you want to make it look as great as possible now we want to add another portion of text and we're going to edit put it right under here so you don't want anything above it because you want to be able to write someone's name at the line above so you want to give it its timing like um it's good it's a good offer you know whether it's not something if you do spots you don't want to do certain things on the weekends whatever your busiest hours are you don't want to have a gift card happening then um another suggestion is if you want to give it a two or three month time limit you can do that if you want to give it a discount code because you want something that they have a physical product and they want to be able to discount um that product or you know free shipping gift card however you want to do your gift card is your wording your discount codes you know exactly how you um, want them to go so for like this one it, it won't expire for well over a year but it's just because this is again just a um an example of a gift card and then i also happen to have to the right of it the discount code to use when you use it to buy a digital product or a physical product on the website so that's how you do that you can put the code there um as well as your expiration date and the value of how much it would actually be for the um the gift card You do more lines you can shorten the lines just lines move just be able to be careful we'll put that down there don't go too far into your border don't go past your border you want to keep everything uniformed within you don't even need that much space underneath that line so we keep going from there 
So now we're going to add some more text. You want to make sure you put your name, spell your name properly, as well as what your title is as to whom gave it. Or um, you can also write underneath there just your name or just the company name or the manager. If you happen to have four or five different managers that can sign off on gift cards, things like that. So I just wrote my name, Stuart slash CEO. And then I'll put it underneath there, kind of small, because it doesn't need to be large. Your signature is what's going to stamp it if you don't have an actual rubber stamp. And that's what you're going to want to put there in that section. So let me put that under there. And it fits perfectly, because you don't need a lot of space for your name, but you just want to make sure all your information is there. So now we want to add a little bit more. So some websites, I'm sorry, some gift cards, you know, they didn't, may not know where you are. So you might want to put a physical address, just your email address, um, you know, something like that, the way they can find you. And that way, you know, they know exactly where to use the gift card. And you don't necessarily need two text boxes for this. You can actually just use one and uh, put your website underneath. size it and so now I want to put my logo on my gift certificate I put my logo on everything so here's the logo for savings with the twist now mind you what is the biggest thing about this whole thing is it's all of my brand colors if you do not know your brand colors or you don't know your hex codes I'll post a video um, where you can get and get used to your hex codes and write it down so that next time someone has to make publications for your business or if you want to be doing this as a side hustle where you can keep track of other people's hex codes and understand what it is I'll put a link um, for that video uh, right above so I need my um, my logo to stand out a little bit more because you can't really see all of the details so you can go right to the lines and shapes section in the elements and I use these squares. These squares and circles and triangles are your best friend when it comes to design in Canva. So what I'm doing, um, I'm gonna make this smaller. I'm gonna use my color chart. If you notice right here, you can see those are the colors that are from my hex codes. Those are the six, uh, six digit series of numbers or letters to make uh, whatever publication you use know your not your colors so yeah I use those to make my entire gift certificate so that's my logo and so with my logo it has the same exact hex code hex codes in there so now I want to make sure that I want my logo visible because if you don't remember the name of my business maybe you'll remember my logo if you see it somewhere same as when you go to McDonald's or Burger King or you see Nike you see these symbols you know exactly who they are when you see them so now I want to resize it so that it makes it a little bit smaller. So what I did is I took my, my uh, mouse, scrolled it across the top, and took it over top of it and made it smaller. So that's called grouping. So now we have my logo. It's at the bottom left-hand corner. I want to see the red line. Um, you want to make sure that that red line keeps all of your stuff even. It helps makes a margin of where everything goes so that you can have it straight. In this section, it's going to be a little boring. I'm just fixing out the colors. That's one of the things that you'll get to do when you're playing around with Canva. You can just figure out what colors go with what your brand is and how exactly you want it to lay out.
all right so at this point we needed to add a little bit more spice to it um because it's an actual couponing business let's put some stuff in the background something to draw their eye so you just find something that they happen to have on canva or if you happen to have some stuff yourself don't go crazy past your borders or if you did you make it as a whole background which will lose the blue so i didn't want to lose the blue so i just made it as to the corners of my borders and just so that we're going to do that we're going to fade it out you want it like very light you don't want to take away from the name of the gift certificate all the information that's on there you just wanted to have it nice so like in this situation i had to move the uh, middle information and make it a little bit smaller because i didn't want to make the picture behind smaller just for that so they got the address you've got the logo you've got who you are you've got all the key elements to making a gift certificate and that was one of the biggest things that you want to do so now i'm going to show you another option as to which you can do with the qr code because a lot of companies are starting to use those for their business and it's it's a really helpful thing for those of us that use smartphones um, you just look at it it's got your link inside and then you want to be able to direct them right to the website you want to go to so I'm going to show you very quickly how we do that all right so with doing a QR code it's extremely simple just follow the steps here so we're going to make a duplicate page of our gift certificate there's no need of recreating the whole entire thing you just have to move some things around right so um in this case we're just going to go i already did it but you can put it in the element box write qr code and it'll be 18 different ones <laughs> basically of what you want it to look like so you don't want to have it smack dab in the middle of your page but if you want to that's your preference um i'm going to move around some things so that it fits where i need it to fit and it looks a little bit more presentable that's my thoughts so now we're just going to move the QR code over into the corner and then go from there. We'll just line everything back up so that it's just really smooth and it looks very uniformed. That's me making the grouping. So again, you just need a little box. You take your cute your uh your your elements background as well as your logo you can make your qr code a little smaller but i'm going to show you now how to put a link inside of there so the qr code actually works um it's a little trick you can put a qr code in any type of thing you have whether it's a business if you have a a bitly link and you know people are still not familiar with the bitly link you could put whatever kind of url in there so that it is um it's able to to actually uh, make make it go to where you need it to go. All right, so let's do this. Let's click on our QR code. Make sure it has that green square around it. Click the links at the very top. Now, because it's see three down here, is because we have three different um, pictures. Even though we have one QR code, you can put a link just about anywhere. But now you want to put in your website or wherever you want them to go and drive it into. And then you can go to link to make sure your link works. I did not finish this website. It's not active, but doesn't matter. So you got that. You don't want to remove it. Just know that it's there. <laughs> That's the only way I can tell you. Just know that it's there. You can change the color of your QR code. But once you click on the links again, it'll tell you that it's there. And that's that. And so now you have three different versions of what you can do with a gift card. And I hope this tutorial was great. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, for that way you can have the notif slap that notification bell. And next time that I go live, you'll be able to um, have fun with us. All right. Until